Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KipAdger.com, here to bring you another gear review, and today we are talking about this little guy right here, which is the Grip Stop by True North Concepts. Go ahead and start with what is the Grip Stop? It is a stop for your grip. The end. All right, there's more to it. Really what it comes down to is it can be a hand stop as well as a barricade stop. So we should probably look at why is that important? So what does a hand stop do for us? It actually does a number of things. Depending on how we shoot, like shooting style, we can use this to actually create a more stable shooting position potentially. And that when you mount the rifle or pistol, although we never shoulder a brace, so when we mount our rifle, and we can actually use this and create tension on it to pull this back in, potentially create a more stable shooting position. Also, depending on the kind of work you do with these or the kind of training you receive, you can actually use this to create a even more stable grip if you are going to be driving this as an impact weapon, maybe in CQB, turning corners, options. And also it's a point of reference. So when I go ahead and grab the handguard, I know where my hand is. In that if it comes here, which it usually does, when I go ahead and mount this rifle, as soon as it comes there, I have access to everything. So it becomes a known point. So I can attach switches, whether it's stuff like this, like a light or a laser. It allows me to, as soon as I make contact with it, everything's there. It's a known point in space rather than maybe grabbing here, maybe here next time, somewhere along those lines. And the other thing it can do is basically be a reference for where you want your hand to go. As I mentioned, it's a reference in space for switches and stuff, but also just for a consistent, basically consistent with respect to you mounting the rifle the same over and over again, isolating variables. So where do we put our hand out here? Honestly, totally personal. You could be old school, Marine Corps, shoot like that. Might not be the best thing. Or for lots of people, this support hand is basically where it would be when you're shooting pistol. So if I move this back, it's like magic. It's right there. And so this, again, keeps me going back to the same place over and over again. And lastly, as I had mentioned earlier, basically a barricade stop. So this, while not super aggressive, definitely will hold, especially when you load this into something, and it can aid in accuracy. Being able to get down, push this against something, create an even more stable position for shooting, especially at distance. Having said all that, how have I used it? How has it done for me? Well, I've definitely used it a lot. I think the first time I really got a significant amount of time with this was actually on this gun, my 556 prototype Sugar Weasel from Q, back when it was still just a pistol for SBR'd it. And it did great. I actually ran in the tactical games down in South Carolina. Really awesome experience down there, basically shooting through like decommissioned nuke facility. And yeah, it absolutely aided me both in being able to get good shots offhand, and then where it really shined was barricade stop. During one of the events, went up to, I believe, the fourth floor, and then finally the eighth floor, shooting down about 200 yards or something to like Ipsic A zones. And running up there, totally gassed out, carrying a five gallon water jug. Like, whew, 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 get up there and gotta make your hits. 10 second penalty per miss, 40 rounds in total. And this absolutely helped, didn't drop a single round. And with that, I basically came up to the barricade, which was a old rusty, like metal round cross member and jammed this thing up against it, got on it, shooting irons at the time, some ultradyne sights and went to town and it worked. Kept it nice and stable. And it's kind of one of those where I'm like, man, will this work on that? Because you basically have hard surface and hard surface. One being steel, albeit it's painted, kind of rusty, and this being aluminum, anodized. And while there is a texture to it, basically kind of, yeah, essentially these 
kind of rounded slots cut out of it. So as I mentioned, it is textured. It isn't so aggressive that it's gonna end up chewing up your hand or gloves if you're wearing gloves. And it's still just a little bit of, little bit of grip for pretty much any surface to include shooting off of that railing. And I kind of beat it up some. It's a little chewed up, no big. It's made to be used. But I've used it since then on a number of different guns. Whether shooting this in that tactical games or also have a couple different other ones. Whether it's on my Honey Badger, use that one a bunch. Also, I ended up using one on my Mini Fix by Q. Little bolt action 300 blackout pistol. Thing did awesome on there. And most recently, I used one on a Arsenal Democracy, one of their 11 and a half inch pistols, shooting a level two carbine course over there with Ian from Room Nation. And yeah, again, I, Charlie, Charlie. for me, they've done a great job. And yeah, there's a lot of things I definitely appreciate about them. Hotel Bravo. One of the things I like about the grip stop is pretty lightweight, pretty low profile. With hardware, weighs about two ounces, and as I mentioned, low profile. It pretty much goes flat up against a M-lock handguard and attaches both front and back with hardware. Weighs about two ounces, and you can, depending on what you want to do, actually reverse these. So if for whatever reason you want this front piece facing forward because you want to jam it up against some sort of surface and use it as a barricade stop, you can do that. Personal preference, I actually like it like this. Two different sizes, this one right here being their, we'll call it their regular size. They also have a smaller version, a little bit shorter this way, as well as dimensionally a little bit shorter that way. Which one's best? Whichever one you want. Honestly, they both largely work exactly the same. Larger one, gonna give you a little more purchase with respect to your hands, so maybe if you have bigger hands, it might work better. Or it's also gonna grip your barricade more if you're doing a lot of barricade shooting. The way I usually kind of run it, since they both work pretty well for me, is if I have a longer gun, even though this is SBR, I'll usually put kind of a larger one on there. And then something really small, like my Honey Badger, I'll usually put the shorter version on there. Either way, both of them work great in my experience and yeah, just different options. And if you have antiquated technology, pick rail or like quad rail or something like that, or you have something that is space age technology like Q-Cert on the Q-Fix or Mini-Fix, something like that, where you have to put basically a rail section, they actually make one for pick rail. So, on my mini fix, for example, that is a Q-cert handguard. There's no M lock or anything like that. Basically, you put a pick rail, go ahead and throw the one that they have that goes onto pick rail. You can use that as well. Totally depends on one, your rifle or pistol and how you're gonna use it. Additionally, these are machined here in the US out of aircraft grade aluminum, 6061, type three hard coat anodized, all that goodness come in three different colors, this being their bronze. They also have a black and a olive green. And depending, sometimes they make some little special runs. If you follow them on Instagram, you'll see announcements. Sometimes they'll have some wild stuff. I think they just had like a purple one, like a short batch of them. I think they did like a crazy bright green one for St. Patty's Day, something along those lines. All kinds of different stuff. Price-wise, usually around about 52 bucks for the M-Lock, whether large or small. And for whatever reason, the Picatinny mount one, I think it's like 60. I don't know, apparently there's more things involved, hardware, something like that. But if you pick one up, have some experience with it, let me know how it's done for you. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. I could not fit in. I'm